Hi there Booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I am doing a review of The Painted Man by Peter V. Brett. This was a Booktuber Recommends book for me and it was recommended to me by Caitlin from the channel Kitty G. Thank you Caitlin and also I think I mentioned this at the beginning of last month. I have, for some reason, I had two of these books. This one's a brand new copy, never been read, and this is obviously the one that I've just read. So hang around to the end of this video uh, to find out how you could win a copy. So before I start telling you a little bit more about this book, I wanted to tell you the two reasons why I would never have picked this up myself. Number one, I really don't like the cover of this. Uh, I don't think if I went into a shop it would appeal to me. I don't think having read the book now that it really depicts enough of the story. It's quite dark. I just, yeah, I just, it doesn't really um, sh give me, give me any sort of, oh, I must read that. And the synopsis is interesting, but not enough. And the synopsis does, um, on the back, kind of gives you the impression that this is gonna be sort of a heaven and hell, angels and demons type story. And if I'm perfectly honest, and I had a conversation with uh, Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings about this recently, um, demons and angel books aren't really my thing. So I definitely wouldn't have picked it up for either of those reasons. But I am so pleased that Caitlin um, picked this for me for the Booktuber Recommends because it was not at all what I expected. And can I just say now, Mercedes, you have to read this. I don't think you'll be disappointed and it's not at all um, angel-y, demon-y and yeah, I think you'd really, really enjoy it, especially um, because you like sort of Robin Hobb and those types of books. I think you should pick this one up. So let me tell you a little bit about this book. It's set in a world where um, at sunset every evening, uh, these sort of demon creatures called calling come and attack villages and try and kill and eat people. The only way that the villagers and the people in different towns can protect themselves is by painting and drawing these wards in certain uh, places outside their houses in order to stop them and um, what happens is the calling try, try and get to the house or to the building or to wherever these wards are set up and it's almost like an, um, a, an invisible force field like bounces them back. But the calling all night long will continue trying to get through and will try and find a weakness in the wards and you know if the wards aren't painted so well or they've worn or um, if they're drawn in dirt and they get smudged in any way then they can get through and kill people so people are constantly in fear of their lives um, which obviously probably doesn't make for a very sound night's sleep ever. And so this is how people have been living. And there's all different types of calling. There's wind, water, um, sand, rock, um, and they all have different sort of things. So like the fire ones can breathe fire and, and various things like that. So this is the world we're in and it's also sort of feels very middle ages. You know, people are living in sort of little small rural communities where they barter with produce and things like that. The book really follows three main characters. So you've got Arlen. Arlen is um, a young boy at the start of the book and he really wants to be a messenger. Messengers are um, men that travel between uh, the different villages and the different towns delivering messages and goods and letters to people. Um, it's quite a dangerous job because obviously sometimes they have to camp on the road so they have portable wa um, portable uh, wards uh, that they have to use in order to stop the uh, calling from attacking them on the road but it can be you know it's a dangerous job so they're very well paid for it um, and Arlen really wants to be a messenger he just wants to get out and see what's going on and so we follow his story throughout the book we also follow a girl from another village called Leisha um, she lives with a terribly abusive mother um, and she ends up wanting to be a healer so we follow her story and then we also follow Roja 
I think that's how you say his name, and he's the youngest of the three. Um, so Arlen is older, Leisha's sort of, uh, you know, five, six years younger or a few years younger, and Rojo is very young. He's only three or four at the start of this book. Um, he loses his parents, and it's about him. He wants to be a jungler, which is like a jester or entertainer, and often the messengers that are travelling between these villages will take a jungler with them, and that jungler will, um, you know, draw in a crowd in the village and will earn money for themselves sort of busking and juggling and singing and various things like that and it also sort of helps the messenger to get in with the townspeople and chat to them and, and do what he needs to do in terms of bartering for goods and messenger uh, sending messages etc so anyway I don't want to tell you too much more because I don't want to spoil the whole story um, but we're following those three um, people and we're following them over numerous years so we go from when they're quite young to when they're in their sort of 20s um, late 20s and I just loved this book it was just full of adventure it was really easy to get into the world wasn't difficult to understand it never felt like I was having to sort of guess what was going on it was just such an exciting interesting book it pulled me straight out of a slump that I was in and it was just really fast very clever very interesting and I believe it's a quartet I'm not sure if there's going to be any more books but I think there's four in the series and uh, I've already ordered all of the rest of them from the library and I'm going to be reading them um, as soon as I can get my hands on them because this is such a great world and as I said at the beginning it's such a shame that the um, the front cover I don't feel does it justice but it's a really really good story and I definitely recommend it I gave this one five stars Something that I always like as well is there's a map. I don't know if you can see that. I love a good map and actually with this book the map is really good. I did find myself uh, flicking back and forward when different villages were mentioned at the beginning to sort of get myself an idea of you know how far would that messenger have to travel if they were going for there and it was a really good idea to have a map in this and uh, yeah I love a good map. Who doesn't? I don't know if any of you have ever watched the film Willow but it was a, a film that I watched a lot when I was younger um, sort of fantasy film and um, the sort of villages and stuff in that it really reminded me of that type and it was one of those books that felt really visual for me when I was reading it I could really picture what was going on it's very sort of cine cinemagraphic in um, you know I could imagine what it was like when they were bouncing against these force fields and I could really see it being a film as well um, and I would definitely watch it if it was so now on to the giveaway I'm so pleased that I loved it because it did turn out that I had um, a, an unread copy and I would like to give it away so all I'm going to ask is that you put in the comments of this video the last five star book that you read and that's all you have to do so in the comments put down the last five star uh, book that you read and I will enter you into the competition um, the usual T's and C's apply this is an international competition so I will post it any Anywhere. but make sure if you are under the age of 16 that you get parental permission if you want to um, because obviously I'm going to ask for your address so get parental permission before you enter if you're under 16 um, you need to be a subscriber of this channel you need to like this video and obviously as I say comment with the last five star book that you read and um, be prepared for me to contact you if you should be the winner. I'm going to leave this competition open for probably two weeks, I think. So from the time this video goes up, it will be open for two weeks and then I will draw the winner. What I like to do when I draw the winner is I'm not going to make a separate video. On this video, I will put that the competition is closed in the subject bar and then in the description, I will put who won the competition and I will reply to that person's comments um, saying that they've won and contact them so if in a couple of weeks time you're just interested to come back and see um, who won uh, if you haven't heard anything from me then come back to this video and you should see the name of the winner and the fact that the competition is closed so I hope all that made sense and thank you very much for watching this um, Mercedes you need to buy this book uh, so thank you for watching and good luck and I look forward to finding some five star reads for me to pick up from your comments and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now, BookTube.